So we talked before about functions that are random variable, and so that was the next thing I want to talk about is the expected value of some function of x. Okay, so just like in the discrete case, it has a similar form to what we talked about there. I have the function of x that I care about times the PDF, right? So this is the PDF, and this is the function, and this is a given outcome, okay? So for example, you know, I've got some random signal, and I want to know what is the average power of the signal, which is like the expected value of x squared. Or I've got an analog to digital converter, which introduces some error, and then I want to compute the SNR, which is related to the error. Okay? So the most common thing that you'll look at is the variance. Okay? So the variance for a um, continuous random variable is, as before, the expected value of x minus the mean squared. Okay, and so I can work out, again, just to be proper with integrals, what does that mean? That's like saying I have the integral of x minus mu squared times the integral. So let me just say, I know that, um, you know, I switched back and forth between, like, here I used t and here I used x. It doesn't matter because this is just a dummy integration variable, right? So that's something that you should kind of get a little bit familiar with in terms of going back to... Um, doing integrals. So here what I have is uh, x squared minus 2 mu plus mu squared times the PDF. And then I have, let's try to keep everything on the screen here, this is equal to uh, this integral. Minus 2 mu times this integral. I guess there's an x up here, right? Plus mu squared times this integral. Now I can say, okay, well, this part here is the expected value of x squared. This part here is minus 2 mu this integral itself is the expected value, so I get another mu. And this here is mu squared times this integral, which I know because this is a PDF has to be equal to 1. So really what I have is the expected value of x squared minus mu squared, which is just a different way of saying expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. Okay, Which is exactly what I had from before. So sometimes it's easier to compute this and sometimes it's easier to compute the expected value of x minus the mean squared directly. So we'll do some examples of that in the next video. Um, just some comments about um, variance, right? So one thing to note is that what is the variance of a random variable times a constant? Well, I can work it out. It's the expected value of this minus the expected value of this. And I already know that, um, let me just make a couple notes here. I know that the expected value of something like this, when I have two random variables, makes this, you know, I can kind of pull out things this way. And I also know the expected value of this is okay if I just pull out the constant. I feel like I've already done that a few times. That's just something that we know. So here, here I'm pulling out an a squared out of here. And here I've got um, a squared here. So what I have basically is a squared times this thing, which is just a squared times the variance of x. Okay, So this is a handy thing to know. Um, and these are good handy properties in general to know about expected values. So let me work a particular example, and then we'll do some more examples in the next video. So we talked about the mean of the uniform random variable. What is the variance of the uniform random variable? So here, x is going to be uniform on some interval. Okay. We already found out in the previous video that the expected value was um, one half 
a plus b, which is just the average middle position, right? Well, now I have to compute what is the expected value of x squared. Well, let's just do it. I'm going to be between uh, a and b. I have x squared times the PDF, which is 1 over b minus a, dx. So I'm going to have 1 third x cubed times 1 over b minus a from b to a. So I'm going to get 1 third b cubed minus a cubed over b minus a. And now I have to take this and I have to subtract off this part squared, right? So a little bit tedious, unfortunately. The variance is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. I found out this was this on the previous piece of paper. Now this is the expected value of x squared. Uh, so now I do a bunch of crap here. So let's kind of normalize things to be over 12. B minus A. That means on the top I have 4B cubed minus 4A cubed. And over here I have uh, 3. Let me just multiply this stuff out. I got to multiply this all by B minus A. So I got A squared B minus 6 uh, a b squared minus 3 b cubed. I hope I don't screw this up. Uh, b minus a. So I have plus 3 a cubed plus 6 a squared b plus 3 a cubed. Can that be right? Oh, b cubed. Sorry. b squared a. Okay. Let's all hope that I did my math right. So um, let's cancel some stuff out. What I get is I have a, a b cubed, and I have an a cubed, and then I have this a squared b uh, and this guy. So I have plus 3 like this, and I have a minus like this. And did I forget anything? I don't think so. So now what I have is um, actually, let's think about this. So I've got 1 over 1 twelfth b minus a. Um, I can take a b minus a out of here. So what I have here is b squared plus ab minus uh, plus a squared. Then I have a b minus a here. I have a pull minus 3ab. Right? So this, this cancels, and what I end up with is 1 twelfth um, b squared minus 2ab plus a squared, which is 1 twelfth b minus a squared. Okay? I know that was great for everybody. Um, but basically, you know, this is like the tedious uh, type of integration that you have to do when you're solving things for the first time. Now, going forward, I could look at this in a book and I just could say, okay, what's the variance of a uniform random variable? Hey, it's this. But, you know, the first time you really should derive it just to convince yourself. Okay. So what I'm going to do in the next lesson is talk about kind of a more generic PDF, one that's not one of our normal functional forms, and just do some quick problems to illustrate how you'd work these problems on a homework or on an exam. Okay.